goals for 2022 was to be a business that gave back to the community. That's why this year, Lavish Locks has decided to partner with Viola's House in South Dallas. Viola's House is an emergency placement shelter for teen mothers who are faced with unplanned pregnancies, who may also be at risk for homelessness. I actually had the pleasure of stopping by Viola's house and meeting with one of the founders, Donna. And she showed me around the place and it was just so overwhelming to see um, everything that they're doing. So I wanted to share that footage with you so you guys can see um, how this mission is so much greater than us. Hi guys, this is Jessica again. And as you can see, I'm in a very special place with a beautiful, um, brilliant lady. Um, I'm going to allow her to introduce herself and yeah, so you are. <laughs> I am Fana Hickman Simmons. I am the founding executive director here at Viola's House Maternity Home. Okay, so as you can see, we're here at Viola's House. So if you can just tell us quickly, Fana, tell us what exactly is Viola's House and what do you guys do here? Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> so Viola's house is a, we're in the maternity home. Okay. And so uh, we serve teen moms here who are homeless and pregnant. They apply for a residential program to live here. Okay. They can live here for six months. At six months, we will reevaluate. Okay. The age demographic that live in this house is age 17 to 24. 17 to 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. So y'all offer different type of services. You and I, she actually showed me around just half of what they do. And I was able to meet some of the beautiful young ladies. Um, and she actually does this with her daughter too as well. She seems to be like your right hand in your left hand man. Like yeah. she's everywhere. So my daughter that works here, she's actually the community outreach manager. Okay. Um, and she's the daughter that I had at 17. As a mm. She's 24 now. Cool. Um, so she understands the importance of legacy work um, just from her being so hands on mm -hmm. and working here directly. And the greatest blessing is she is not a generational team mom. <laughs> So yeah, that is a blessing. It is because those patterns tend to repeat themselves. They they do. They yeah. do. But you know, it is a blessing that she was able to break I wouldn't even say it's a curse because I don't necessarily think it's a curse. No. You know how some people no, say that. It like it's it not a curse. Wasn't. It's a blessing that we didn't know that we needed. Yeah, my dad was a past. I grew up well. I didn't have any curses in mm -hmm. my life. I was just being fast at seventeen. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so we saw that the need for diapers and toiletries for kids is like great. So that's where we're gonna pledge to give a uh, hundred boxes of diapers. And the thing that I was kind of like shocked that if we gave a hundred boxes of diapers, you said how many women could that service in the community? So we serve four families with one case of diapers. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you would be serving 400 families yes. with 100 cases. So guys, diapers. please help. <laughs> you can give diapers. And listen, I know that sounds like a lot, but at Skyline alone, at our last giveaway at Skyline, we had over 500 moms show up. That is a lot. And they stand in line for two or three hours. And the thing that I often come back and say after one of those giveaways is, what is a mother going through that they will stand in line for two or three hours mm. to get child accessories that they need? Because they really need it. They do need it. They really need it. Or even just thinking about standing in line for two hours, like they could have been at work, you know what I mean? But they're having to do this in order so that the kids can have just the bare necessities. Yeah, I think sometimes we are so far removed from what the need really is, but when you're hands on and you're really seeing the need at that level, you know that it's just necessary to do this work because somebody has to do it. So. Yeah, so I'm asking you guys to help us reach this goal of donating 100 boxes of diapers. If you do want to donate clothes or whatever, we are not gonna turn away any donations. You can drop it off at my store at 4281 Beltline Road in Addison, Texas. All of that will be in the um, in the comments below as well. I'm probably gonna stroll them across here somewhere. Um, you can give directly your boxes of diapers or you can just give um, 
like a dollar amount. How much does an average box of diapers cost? Um, about $32 for a case. For boxes? For a I case. mean, for uh, diapers? For a case. And as you start getting up into the larger sizes, they get, they get more costly. So yeah, the larger sizes cost over $30 a case. So we got a goal to reach you guys. So help me help them as we are partnering with Viola's house so that we can help our community. Um, you guys have a blessed day. So be Thank safe. You. Stay lavish, guys. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. There are a couple of ways that you can give. One, you can give via our website by adding $10, $15, or $20 on the end of your purchase. And Lavish Locks will donate a box of diapers on your behalf. The other way you can give is you can just drop by your diapers here at our Addison location. You guys, thank you so much for partnering with us as we partner with Viola's House. We want to be something bigger than just these four walls. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Remember, be blessed, stay safe, and stay lavish.